Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and tonight there was a pretty big leak of wallpapers from the iOS 11 Gold Master, or GM. 9to5Mac somehow got their hands on it, I'm still trying to do that myself, and they actually shared the wallpapers, so I thought I'd go over them and show you those wallpapers. So these are all of the different wallpapers that are in iOS 11 that we're aware of. There's no 3D touch or motion wallpapers, they're just static images. So if we go into the flower one here, most of these look like they're probably designed for an OLED display. So this one looks pretty nice. Again, another flower. And they're all the same for the iPad. Here's the world at night, which would be perfect for an OLED display. An OLED display allows you to turn off pixels individually. OLED actually backlights itself. Each pixel can actually produce light. And on an LED display, you have to light the whole display, but on OLED, you can turn them all off. So if you had all of these off, you'd save a lot of power. The next one. This is a nice flower that we have here. And all of them have pretty nice pastel colors to them. I've got a nice little picture of the earth. And again, more flowers. And just a black display. And of course, that would save the most and be the most retro since iPhone 1 had a, dis had a wallpaper. Basically, that was black because you couldn't change it. Again, another flower. And here's where we, where we get into the classic Apple logo. This rainbow is from the original Apple logo where they had this as their logo. And so they've incorporated this into different background colors, as you can see here. So you can pick whichever one you want. Again, it's all pastels. And you can pick whichever one you would like and put them on your display. Now I have it on mine. I have the classic one with the black and just the, the rainbow logo. And it does look pretty good. I imagine it'll look really nice on an OLED display. So there's not a whole lot more to go into. I just wanted to show you those wallpapers. Of course, I'll leave a link to them. And it's great that 9to5Mac actually found these. Hopefully, I can get my hands on the Gold Master. If any of you know where I can get that, I'd love to share with you what I find in it and share how you can get it as well. If you found that, though, let me know in the comments below or email me, and I'll leave a link to these, like I said before. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.